everyone! Since it's Christmas Day tomorrow, and it's kind of cutting it close on crafted DIY gifts, I thought I would appeal to those of you who procrastinated on wrapping your gifts, and I'm going to show you guys a few different unique ways to wrap your presents. Let's get started! You'll need the present, wrapping paper, tissue paper, normal tape, and double-sided tape. For this first one, I just used some brown packing paper. I'm kind of weird, I guess, and I tend to keep some packing paper that comes in packages because you never know when you might need some, and it makes decent wrapping paper if you're in a pinch. Cut your wrapping paper so you can fold it over both sides and have it completely cover the present and enough on the bottom and top to cover those sides, like so. Always err on the side of having too much wrapping paper. You can always cut extra off. Start folding up the side about an inch, like so. Fold six times. Unfold it and flip it over. At this first fold, pinch the paper together and fold down about halfway down, like this, to create a pleat. Repeat this for each fold. You should end up with something like this. Flip over. Tape the pleats to keep them in place. And now it's just a matter of wrapping the gift. Place the box on the paper and bring the flap with the pleats up and to the top, positioning the design in the middle. Bring the other flap up and either cut off the excess or fold it under. Stick some double-sided tape along the edge of the pleats and tape together. On the top and the bottom, push the edges in like so, and crease the flaps. Fold the flap with the pleats a little bit to give it a nice edge, and add some double-sided tape to that and tape it down. Repeat on the other side. To give the pleats more definition, you can pinch each pleat and run your nail down the side to put a small crease in it. And here it is, finished! For this next style, you'll need enough paper where you can bring both sides over and cover the box, and enough on the bottom to cover that side, and then enough on top to fold down and cover about three-fourths of the box. Fold down the top, hold it in place, and fold the sides in. Crease these flaps. Fold one of the front flaps over and across the front. Fold down the front flap on the other side. Go back to the original side and take that back flap and fold it over the front of the box. And then finally fold the last flap over. Fold the end of the flap back over at the point where it overlaps the last flap. Flip that fold under and stick some double-sided tape along the edge. And tape it down. Then just finish up this last side like normal. Fold the sides in, crease the flaps, fold the top flap in a little bit, stick some double-sided tape along the edge, and stick it down. This style looks really nice, and it's kind of cool because you can just stick the to and from tag into this little pocket, like this. The width of the box affects how far apart the folds are in this one. Here's an example of one that's extremely skinny, so the folds are super close. For this last style, you'll need to cut some tissue paper and gift wrap to be a little longer than the box is tall and about 8 inches wide. Again, err on the side of having a little too much here. As you can see, I totally did. Fold about 1 inch up 6 times. Unfold everything except for the last fold. Similar to the first design, pinch this fold, 
but this time match the bottom fold of the edge and fold it diagonally like so. Repeat this for the next fold. You can keep repeating this all the way through for each fold if you want to make a sort of half open fan design or you can do like I did here and I went to the other side and pinch and folded these other two so it looked like they were opening up on the other side to give it a fully open fan design. Cut off the extra gift wrap and tissue paper, fold it in, and pull the tissue paper slightly so a little bit peeks out up top. Fold the fan over and use some tape to secure the folds in place. Wrap the gift like normal, but leave the bottom side open. Stick some double-sided tape along the edge of the fan and a few in the middle and tape it in place. I decided to put it at a little bit of an angle, but you can put it directly centered. Cut the extra paper off the bottom edge and then finish folding and taping that side like normal. My fan wanted to stay open a little bit, so I just stuck some more double-sided tape inside of there to help stick it down. And here it is! This is a tiny box, so the fan hangs over, but here's an example of a big box with a bigger fan. I just added one extra pleat on each side. Again, for this one, I went back and creased each pleat like I did in the very first gift. And there we go! I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next week.